What's up everyone? Jason back here with another diecast review. Tonight I'll be reviewing the 1997 Dale Earnhardt Sr. Daytona 500 crash car in 164 scale by Action Performance. No packaging to review on this one so I'll go ahead and just take it out of the plastic and get a closer look at it. The detail on this car is outstanding for this size anyways. It is incredible what Action Performance was able to do in 164 scale back in 1997. But up on the front here on the hood, we have GM Goodwrench Service and the Chevy Bowtie. You can see it is nicely scraped up there on the, where it says service. On the front, we have partial Monte Carlo, partial number three, with a lot of physical damage on the front fender. For contingencies on the front here, we have Comp Cam, 76 Race Fuels, JE, Edelbrock, Moog, Simpson, and Plastique. Of course, you can see more damage there on the front fender is warped quite a lot. Of course, we have Goodyear above the front tires there. We have NASCAR race car. We don't have a Winston Cup logo, but at least there's a decal there. We have Gatorade, Unical 76, RCA, Hurst Shifters, 3M, Mechanicware, Lawn Acre, MCI, Holly, Autometer, Goodies, True Value Western Auto, and a few little contingency there, along with more scrapes. Of course, we have the number three there with a lot of scrapes and damage on it. Snap-on behind the number three, also scraped up. Good wrench service there on the quarter panel. Once again, as you'd expect, scraped up from sliding on the track. We have Burger King and Safety Clean right there, or We Care. Up here on the C-Post, we have Food City. RCR and AC Delco on the B post. Partial simulated signature on the roof row of Dale Earnhardt Sr. there. Roof is all scraped up along with your bent up uh, scraped up roof flaps. Back here on the rear deck lid we have GM Performance Parts. Spoiler absolutely flattened. It's hard to see but back here on the rear bumper cover we have GM Goodwrench Quick and Lube. Show you bow tie, the number three on both where the taillights would be. Back in this era of NASCAR, they didn't put headlight or taillight decals. Got some scrapes there on the rear bumper cover. See the deck lid's all warped up there. Right side of the car, more physical damage. Especially here on the rear quarter panel. Good wrench is used up pretty good. Rear quarter panel down there by We Care and Burger King also warped more scrapes and everything so yeah it's a really cool looking car the bottom of the chassis is red and plastic so yeah it's still a really cool car if you have a chance to own any of the Dale Earnhardt Sr. 1997 crash cars albeit whether it be 124, 132nd or this 164 scale I highly recommend picking one up just to say you have it in your collection you won't be disappointed in it it's a great car for any Dale Earnhardt Sr. fan. So that's my review of, of course, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. 1997 Daytona 500 crash car in 164 scale. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Post new diecast reviews every Monday. So be sure to follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at JasonAceRange69. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. See you next week for an all-new diecast review. Bye.